All right, we're going to do uh, some of the miscellaneous quests that we've accumulated during the last little while. Uh, retrieving the ancient Nordic pickaxe. There's the arrow. Friend Cressius. See if we can get him before he goes into his mine. Although we probably want to go into the mine. I can't Good believe you be found a way again. to reopen the mines. The I don't know how to thank you. Nice. Oh, my pleasure. Can I dig ebony in uh, dig for ebony in Raven Rock Mine? Of course. In fact, Councillor Morvane has given you the full run of the place. Help yourself to whatever oh, you like. That's very nice. We're all in agreement that you're entitled to as much as you can carry. Oh, thank you. Um, a little bit, uh, a little bit unpleasant to business. Glover wants his ancient Nordic pickaxe back. The damn fool doesn't even deserve to have it. The pickaxe was made for mining, not selling. I'll bet he stole it from the Skald in the first place. Probably did. Uh, let me think about this. Ooh. How is this going to affect my relationship with him? Yeah. Good. Now let me get back to what I was doing. All right. Let me go ahead and... How are things now that the mines are open again? I've been made the foreman of the mine. Thanks to everything you did down there. It's good to get the old nose working again. I missed sniffing out the ebony deposits and getting my hands dirty. All right. Best of all, Aphia isn't so cross when I go down there anymore. Wonderful. All right. Thank you, stranger. Thanks for everything. Yeah, I'm going to be thinking about this because his character is much more interesting to me than Glover's character. And I do lament my thieving days, but I will go get his formula back. Glover Mallory. My father says that Glover Mallory is a thief, but also that he is a darn good blacksmith. It probably is. Your father's probably right on both accounts. Alright. Let's take a look. And... Oh, really? No, that's up here. Sure, what the heck, let's go up there. Hopefully those Draugr don't respawn too rapidly, or at all, and uh, we will have the run of the place. Let's give it a look. Maybe log a few more locations up there while we're wandering around. All right. Did you make it? You did. Ooh, that looks treacherous. Well, look what I've done to myself. Got myself and you in a real pickle. Jump, uh. jump, 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 jump. I'm falling down. I'm going to die. Yeah. Here I am, swimming like a salmon. That was so stupid. Eh. That was weird. Hey there. Oh, this should be fun. I think I'm going to go ahead and get out my old fashioned bow.
And as a matter of fact, while I'm at it, I need to recharge my weapons. Definitely need to Oh dear. You know, they're not enemies until they're enemies. Let's go find out. I don't even know how to use these. Just take them and try, I guess. I'm getting shot at. I'll go up here. Treat myself to a... Alright. Great, I probably declared war upon the nation. Sportsmen like killing these guys. That really wasn't a match. Oh well. Die! You made a big mistake! So, what is the deal with these little guys? I don't know anything about them. Plundering. Yeah. Oh, 
Was this like jail or something? Hi. Uh. How? You must That's admit that I'm not bad. You're not bad. You're better than not bad. Alright, so they run up through here. Oh my gosh. Tell you what. Yeah. I don't want spending my ebony arrows. Strange little world. This goes on and on in here forever. Alright, so this is that's where we were down there. And we went around. Alright. There go my Dramora Lord and Vilya raising hell in this little community. Circles around on itself. Strange. Oh, cool. Strange. Oh, Billy, really, don't tell me that this is turning you on. Are you hiding in that barrel? Is there like a souped up version of these things? Yeah. Alright. Well, maybe we'll pop out the other side here, go back, deliver this. Let's make it. Oh, you know what? He's, he's showing up underneath the, uh... You will be so dead. Being... Speared. I feel like I'm killing Ewoks. This is no fun. Alright. If they were more vicious, it would be awful. Well... Plunder. Yeah, these guys live in little kennels. Where we are. See if we've found a new location. Oh my gosh. Super good at it. Castle Karstag Key. Sure. Uh, what was this, like a little thief? Right. So is this an exterior location? Do we know? OK. 
Castle Kirstab Ruins. All right, Castle Kirstab Key. I'm just, I just want to know where this key is used. That's where we came up. Unlock Souls Time Master. All right, so we, we've been, uh, now we are. Cool spot. Did I just clip into the that thing? The important thing about adventuring is that anything you don't know can kill you. On the other hand, practically anything you do know will kill you too. That's a good point. Okay, that was that was interesting. Let's take this back to Glover Mallory. Back down over this way. Yeah, that wasn't quite so fun, just going in there, punching out little people that weren't doing me much damage. Any luck tracking down Esmond? Well, he's dead, but I at least found the formula. I told him not to head up there. Sounds like the bloody fool got what he deserved. Here, I want you to take this key. Head inside my house and unlock the door in the basement. Help yourself to whatever you like inside. I won't be using it anymore. What does that mean? Alright. I've always had a steady stream of work thanks to the Redoran card, so it hasn't affected me much. However, I've seen the smile on people's faces, and there's hope around here once again. Something we've been lacking for a long time. Huh. All right. So how did you end up in Raven Rock? A fine question, and the one that I hear most often from visitors to our town. I wish I had a more romantic tale to tell, but I was simply seeking my fortune and chose Raven Rock to ply my trade. Besides, knowing how to repair bone mold armor wasn't very useful in Riften. Good point. So who taught you that? I had a friend over there, a dark elf named Van Wright, a very talented armor smith. Spent a lot of time with the guy swapping smithing techniques. Learned a heck of a lot, including how to repair bone mold. After he moved on to greener pastures, I decided to pack up, move out here, and put those lessons to the test. Been here ever since. Alright. You tell Crushes he better give that pickaxe back to me, or else. Yeah, let's go down to the basement, see what he's got. Stuff he's not going to be using anymore. I do like the construction here. See why does he get, why does he get good music and we don't? Oh look at this. Goodie bags, coin purses. I don't need any more coins. Oh <coughs> wow. Black guards armor. Alright. Raven Rock. Good to be here again, although the circumstances could have been nicer. Oh my gosh! My dearest daughter Sapphire, 
It's with a heavy heart that I write this letter. For years I have thought about how I could tell you this, and each time I imagine it would be face to face, I'm ashamed for what I did, and I hope that someday you'll learn to forgive me. Whatever you do, don't blame Delvin for any of this. He didn't know. Long after I joined the guild, I was sent to rob a caravan that was stopping at a tiny farming village not far from the border of Skyrim. When I arrived there, I was a day early and decided to sleep for the night in the barn of a pig farm. I woke the next morning when the most beautiful woman I ever laid eyes on walked in to do her chores. She wasn't even frightened when she saw me. In an instant, I think we had both fallen in love. I ended up living with that woman in that tiny little village for a year until she was with child. Then, like a coward, I ran away. I was a thief and didn't want to end up uh, a farmer. It was a terrible thing to do. I didn't have the courage to return to that village for almost 15 years. When I finally decided to visit, it was too late. It had been raided by bandits and burned to the ground. Everyone was either dead or gone, including you, my only child. Years later, when you were recruited by Bren Yoff, I couldn't believe my eyes. You were a spitting image of your mother, and I knew it was you in an instant. The Only the gods know how you survived the attack on that village and why you followed my footsteps. But I have to assume it was meant to be. I've wanted to walk right up to you and embrace you to tell you the truth, but I was still a coward. I decided to leave Riften instead of facing your anger. I said my goodbyes to Delvin and I headed for Solstheim, as far from the truth as I could get. I'm sorry, my daughter. I'm sorry for never being there to hold you at night or to protect you from whatever hardships you endured. One day I hope to, you'll make the journey to Solstheim to, and visit your father, Glover Mallory. Is it right? Do I take this? Wow. If we just ask around, I'm sure someone will give us a quest to do. Mind-blowing thing. That was... I did not see that coming. Didn't see it coming. Wow. All right. Black guard armor. This is some pretty impressive armor. All right. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, I'm trying to think of what I can dump in here. To, uh... And the answer is clearly. Alright. What do you think of the houses here? Quite different from Skyrim. Don't you agree? Oh, I agree. Wow, Sapphire for the Thieves' Guild. What an amazing development. And, uh... He's not gonna know. Because I'm gonna deliver this to his daughter. All right. To think that this once was a bustling and prosperous city. It's weird, isn't it? It is. I'm feeling like my character now feels like he can go ahead and get that pickaxe. Insist on it. Yeah, insist on it. Yeah, it probably was meant to be used for mining. But uh, let's go ahead and get it back to this guy. An imperfect person with a very interesting story, as it turns out. Father of Sapphire, the Thieves' Guild. Wow. Who 
That's so cool. I must be making some coin again. Go ahead and uh, retrieve the pickaxe. You know, the best defense isn't a good armor, it's a good, strong weapon. I agree. Yeah, I thought he might be down here. Picking. It's a treacherous mine to work in. Well, at least 200 for the mine, and then the barrows underneath there, probably thousands. Yeah. Crash to desktop. Okay. Try to get it back. No, don't worry about the cloud steam launcher. Let's just get the game going again. Oh. That's unpleasant. Let's see where the last save was. Okay, I made it out. You know, I wonder if I could use the Skyrim Creation Kit to change the music for that house. I'm going to find a way. The house is here. With the Aspawn threat taken care of, I can give my men the rest they deserve. Well done, friend. I do think. Let's get the pickaxe. For all I know, I might be the last Imperial left on Solstheim. All right, let's get Glover's pickaxe back. The damn fool doesn't even deserve to have it. I'll bet he stole it from the Skull in the first place. Well, it doesn't belong to you. Oh, very well. Here, tell him I hope he drops a thing on his foot. All right. Thank you, stranger. Thanks for everything. Apparently, it's not going to ruin our relationship. <sighs> All right, these are the Glover Mallory quests. I wonder if there's anything uh, been written into this that would allow me to. One does not have to be a lunatic to talk to oneself. Definitely not. QED quad erat demonstrandum. You just proved that because you're not a lunatic. All right. Modin Veleth, captain of the Redoran Guard, at your service. Thank you. Last time I. Let's go find this guy. Let's go find old Glover. I work for Mogul. You got a problem, you talk to him. Okay. No problems. Find my pickaxe yet? You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Yeah, I have your ancient Nordic pickaxe. So, you finally tracked down old Crescius, eh? Quite a character, isn't he? 
I like him. Tell you what, since you went through all the trouble of finding it for me and all, you keep it. After all that, why? I just wanted to remind that codger you can't just go around taking things from other people. Oh my goodness. Now that you've delivered the message, I'm satisfied. Okay. Besides, that pickaxe hasn't done me any good in years. Maybe you can put it to good use. Alrighty. Bring your weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up right. Okay, we're good. How's business, Glover? The usual. Piles of armor to repair for the veteran guard. Aren't you pleased to be keeping busy? <sighs> I can't believe Raven Rock Mine is open again. Finally, something worth defending. Yes. It is something worth defending. Move along, Alright, I'm gonna go hang this uh armor on the, one of the mannequins downstairs here. Let's see. So many mannequins. Thieves Guild armor. That's what it is. What do you think of the houses here? Quite different from Skyrim, don't you agree? Oh, I do. Yes? Want to relax here for a bit? Good idea. All right. It's late enough for her to go ahead and hit the sack if she wants. Let's see, I'll look at weapons. Ancient ancient Nordic pickaxe. How cool is that? Why not? Okay, starting to uh, get a little personalized Why touch. Why are you looking at me like that? Because you're nuts sometimes. In a good way. All right. Let's take a look at what I've got here that we can dump off. There we go. Get our own little collection of stuff going here. Drayla Alor hates Solstein. Everyone knows that. She stays for her father's sake. And for someone else's sake, too, I believe. But uh, that's a secret. Oh, you. You know so many secrets. Can go ahead and empty this chest out. And get rid of the stuff that's in it. Yeah. Get rid of that. Strange. Yeah. All right. There is a bit of a design flaw. There should be some storage in there. I think what I'll do... You know, I think it would be really intriguing trying to furnish your adorable style house. <sighs> I'm trying to make sense out of the, de the design here. Okay, that will stay. No, it won't. 
Because that is going to go right over here. Yeah, now I'm totally just playing house. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and take a break. Do some inventory management. I'm going to move... Whoops. <laughs> I'm going to move... Uh, I don't know that I want to have that coming, looking at me every time I, uh, every time I step in here. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do some inventory management and uh, move stuff around. I'm going to kind of move the ore, you know, my mining stuff into one thing and clothing into another. And uh, just kind of try to get this thing set up a little bit. And I may go out to, uh, may go to an exterior cell, go into the Skyrim creation kit, See if I can change the noise in this thing. It's dis disconcerting, isn't it? Listen carefully. They've got sort of the scary, unpleasant place music going on here, and uh, um, I think we can do better than that. So, see what I can do without breaking anything. <coughs> and uh, be back a little later. Thanks for watching. <laughs>